Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. Today we are moving on to the third area in the story mode, which should be Glacier Park. Before we do, let's go ahead and take a look at a new character. Last episode we played as Coco. This time I wanted to play as somebody else. I'm thinking we could play a little bit of Pura. Now Pura has some different stats in Coco, I think. Yeah, Coco's high on acceleration, while Pura's a little bit more solid on turns. So we're gonna be doing, or uh, Polar, sorry. Polar and Pura, they have the same stats. I wanna be doing Polar for today episode um, because you know it's frozen it's glacier park you know you, you gotta you gotta try out the cold characters right so we'll do a little bit of this um, yeah we'll start with the normal skin but then when it comes to the carts this is not Polar's normal cart color that would be this one the aqua color very very cool I'm super excited let's get started with this I'm gonna confirm that we are good to move to glacier park let's get to it uh, which yeah, I guess this is the correct one Oh man, it's already looking frosty and chilly in here. Another four levels to tackle in this one, starting with this one over this, wow, this is looking really cool. This is Blizzard Bluff. I'm really excited for this one because this is actually not a track I've seen in the trailers, in any kind of gameplay footage. I have not seen this one in any of that. I think, yeah. Well, there's Blizzard Bluff and then there's Polar Pass. Yeah, I'm thinking about Blizzard Bluff, I'm pretty sure this is the one with like the little uh, frozen lake and everything, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I'm excited to check it out. See what this is like in HD. Fully realized. Oh boy, Blizzard Bluff. That looks super cool. The penguins up top. This is super duper cool. Really making it clear that this is like Penta Penguin's course. Cannot wait to check out Penta Penguin. Oh, look at that. There's like little hockey sticks as the in the background of the CTR logo. That is super cool. Wow, this thing is looking super like snowy and sloshy and stuff. That is so cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun playing as Polar. But yeah, since I haven't asked you guys yet so far, what is your oh, favorite character in this game? And what's your favorite track? I would love to hear all about that. And they are moving. They have some interesting colors coming out from the back of their cars. I don't know what that's about because we don't see that going on for our car, do we? I don't think so, doesn't look like it. Oh boy, we're moving through this though. So what's interesting about this track is that there are some higher like technique level shortcuts going on. I don't know if we'll be showing casing too many of those right now, but we will when we're doing the CTR tokens and the time trials and stuff. That'll be a little bit more while we're doing that. This track is super cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Very snowy and cold. Gotta be careful, the giant bowling ball that runs over me. He's not even a bowling ball, it's just a boulder. You know what I mean. If that hits us though, we'll be in big trouble. We'll need to uh, avoid it. Just like with, with sewer speedway, it'll flatten us. I need a couple more wumpa fruit here if I can find any. There are a lot sort of hanging out on this track. This track also has some big turns, which makes it fun for drifting. Also, at some point I changed it back to the classic. I didn't even mean to do that. Oh no, watch it! Ah, oh, whoa, okay, I didn't get hit. <laughs> I ended up slowing down a little bit, but I also didn't get hit, so that's pretty good. Okay, out of the way, Coco, I played you last episode. Don't need to see you no more. Polar's in the lead, and that's final. There we go, got a pretty good speed boost there. Watch out for the potion, oh no. Don't tell me I'm not gonna win my first race here. Can't let that happen. All right, catch up, there it is. Ow, ooh, she got me. She got me good there. Oh no, I'm in serious trouble. No, you're kidding me. Oh, this is some really bad luck right here. We're actually not gonna win a trophy race. That's never happened. Oh, I'm getting some bad luck with the start here. Not good. Man, <laughs> let's try that again. We do get some coins as a reward. I'm gonna go ahead and retry this race and we'll get first. Okay, this time I dominated the competition. I almost entirely lapped them this time. I'm, I'm just right behind like crashing everybody who were in seventh and eighth place. That was crazy, we lock a new skin, it's Grizzly Polar, that's great. So that was a little bit more on track of what I'm expecting. So, we are good to move forward. Hopefully do a little bit better from here on out in Glacier Park. There's still three more tracks we need to tackle for those trophies. And there's some interesting tracks in this. There's another frozen type track and then two other very interesting, very different kind of uh, courses we'll be going through. I'm excited for all of them, but some of the courses are very long in this one, especially one in particular. We'll, we'll show it off when we get the chance. But for right now we get our first trophy of the day with Polar. Oh, and he just hangs out. Oh, there's Princess Coco and Robo Cortex. Ah, he's so cute, he does a little, a little roll. He's so adorable. Congratulations. You win a trophy. 
Okay, congratulations, you've unlocked a new sticker, it's Polar, I love it. And we are going to head to the next track, which seems to be down this way. Man, I wanna sort of take a second though, slow it down a little bit, hold on. One thing you might have seen up there, hard to sort of tell, there's another uh, statue of Penta Penguin. He was a character we'll eventually go and showcase. Don't think you can play them right now, but we'll eventually showcase. This is pretty cool. There's another statue over there. There's like, like, just, I, I really enjoy seeing all the sights. There's the giant panda that will, not panda, polar bear that'll chase you and crash too for stealing polar. <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, we're going to the Dragon Mines already. This is a fun track for sure. It's got a lot of different stuff going on. So Dragon Mines, wow, look at this place with the spinning like minecart tracks and all the gears and the dragon. Man, oh man, this place is totally decked out. Look at all the gold and the gems. All that stuff was not in the original. Crazy cool. Well, let's get to it. Polar's gonna race through this and get first place, isn't he? I can only hope. Ah, and the music in this one. This is a really outstanding track. There's the dragon is chilling out. Oh boy, ow, that got me good. That's not good, just trying to get ahead, out ahead of the pack. Already getting hit by stuff. So there actually is a really cool shortcut in this track. I don't know if we'll end up showcasing it now, but we definitely will during the uh, Relic race. So if, if not now, then don't worry. Later on in today's episode, that'll be cool. Oh boy. Got it. Let's keep it moving. Oh man, this track looks super cool now. I love it. Ow, tiny dude, seriously? Here. Oh, I just missed him with that cannonball. All I gotta do is get ahead of these guys and we should be fine. I mean, that'd be easier if I, ow, come on. Didn't get hit by an item every 10 seconds. Not again, not again. There we go. I was able to go around the corner super tight and that made it so that the rocket didn't hit me. So Crash and Tiny are ahead of me right now and they're the biggest pains in the booty, especially when I'm causing my own demise. I don't know what's with my bad driving right now. Maybe I'm just not used to somebody like Polar. I'm not gonna let that stop me. We wanna keep riding here. There we go, I got that. The whole group of them are right in front of me, right here. So, oh, here we go, Uka Uka Power. See ya, Cortex. See ya, Tiny. How's that feel, buddy? How's that feel to be hit by an item? Well, now you know. Okay, so I have a decent little lead. It's not too much. So I'm really gonna keep it moving. Now this turn is tough, as per usual. Sort of messed it up. But that's okay, because I'm still in the lead. Gotta be careful of the minecarts. They can squish you as well. And we get an Aku Aku in first place? I have never seen that before. I'll take the luck, but wow. Didn't even know that was a thing. All right, well we get 20 more coins for that one, and we are good to move forward. There's trophy number two. Very good. I'm super happy with the progress we're making so far. <laughs> the blue hyena crash is so silly. And also, like, we have a, like a commander tiny or something. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Very cool, though. Congratulations. You, you win, a win a trophy. And there we go, get another trophy. And we also get some new wheels from Team Cortex. Not too bad. So where's our next track at? It's actually gonna be down this way, which I believe, whoa, what does that say? Hold on, I wanna see the sign. Speed limit, 155. No longer is it 55. Pretty cool. But down this way, yeah, across this bridge. Well, I could, actually, it's not that much of a bridge anymore. Oh, no, no, I'm getting it mixed up. Over here is the bridge. I always thought this really long bridge was super cool when I was young. But you know what? I don't wanna worry about that too much right now. <laughs> we can always check it out a little bit more later. I wanna go this way, where we have yet another level. What is going on with this? Some kind of weird clock or something going on over there. I like it. Anyways, this is Polar Pass, Polar's home track. Let's see how it is. As you can see, whoa, look at the polar bear frozen in the ice. That was in the original. I remember when I was young thinking and talking to friends like, oh, there's a way to get that polar bear out of there and he'll chase you. It wasn't possible, but maybe one day, right? <laughs> That'd be really cool. But there's polar bears everywhere here because it's polar passers. Uh, some seals sliding across the screen. Across the track, gotta be careful because that'll make you spin out just like the armadillos from Dingo's track. But yeah, we should be right at home with this one. Polar should be able to tear up this track, I can only hope. Okay, we got a lot of guys catching up already. Ooh, that was not good. And that also was not good. That's okay. Plenty of chances still. Catch up. Nice. 
Bunch of them got hit there. Okay, this drift can be a bit tough. We made it work. Awesome. We can make some major speed happen on these little bumps. And then there's a really fun shortcut. It's a bit of a tricky one to do and it only gives you a slight boost. And if you mess it up, ow. Okay, well I'm not gonna be able to do it this time, but I need to show off the normal part. Is <laughs> there a disco party over here? Look at that. <laughs> That's so distracting, but so cool. We're just having a good time. Okay. Let's keep drifting though. Engine's in the lead right now, but not for long if I have anything to say about it. Sorry buddy, this is our track. I got the big final jump. Nice. Come on, watch it. I have almost full Wampa Fruit. I did for a time, but I got hit by the, the seal. So I'm gonna go around the opposite way. Yeah, there's sort of like a figure eight here. Last time I went the other way. I'll put down that potion right there. We are actually doing really good now. We're ahead of the whole pack. So let's not run right into an obstacle. Oh, ah, oh, get the drift in right away. Oh no, there's a rocket heading for me. Too late. <laughs> So here's my chance to pull off a major lead in front of them. If I can get this jump just right, not get hit by any seals or anything, I'm gonna be flying. Ready, set, and whoop! There it is, go right over that wall. It only saves you a couple of seconds, but we do get a trophy for it, the Arctic Hurdler. Isn't that cool? Whoa, oh, sorta of messed that up, yikes. Going a little too fast. I just like this whole like panda bear community going on. Not panda bear, polar bear. I don't know what I'm talking about. I got my biology wrong. We are zooming past this final lap now. Polar definitely is fun with this added acceleration. Oh, did you see for a second the flames coming out of the back of our car were blue? That means that we just reached like another level of speed. The more you chain up your combos, the faster you can go through this track for these tracks. I don't know, not this track specifically. But it's, it's definitely something. The different types of fire on the back of your car is actually indicating something, which is just like a cool level of technique. And that's something I've just really loved about Crash Team Racing that most other car racing games don't have is this deeper level of technique. There we go, awesome. Come on now. Yeah, this is definitely a beautiful track. Almost got hit by that TNT. Oh boy. So let's try not to overjump this this time. Didn't get the speed boost, but that should be fine. And going in for a stellar finish over half a track ahead of these guys, not a problem. That was definitely our best lap for 57 seconds. Pretty good. We get a reward of 60 coins for that one. That was a huge reward. I wonder why. Anyways, we are good to move forward. There's our third trophy of the day. Not too bad. Beat out engine and tiny again. Okay. His, his laugh is so weird. Because he didn't really have a voice like that before. Well, awesome, we win a trophy. And congratulations, you've unlocked a new paint job. It is a Team Cortex Red. Don't have to worry about that too much for right now, but just cool to see. Oh, what is up? Okay, for a second I thought I could go up there. I was like, what's that? That's new. But um, yeah, we're actually going to go over here now into this cool little temple thing. And we have Tiny Arena, another really cool track. This is, I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but it's definitely one of the like highlight different tracks in this game. Very odd, very, very long track. This track takes like five minutes to finish. It's crazy, but we'll see why in just a moment. As Soon as uh, it's done loading. There are a lot of loading screens in this game, but it's sort of to be expected with how much you're loading into stuff. Wow, this looks so cool! It's Tiny Arena, it's like a giant monster truck arena kind of thing with dirt jumps, and it has a giant Tiny statue at the top. Tiny has a guitar, he's like a hologram on the top of the CTR banner. All the graffiti on the sides of the walls, that is so cool looking. I love that. Man, but as you can see on the mini-map, this is a long track with lots of turns and stuff. It can make it really tough for, say, the Relic races, but someone with somebody like Polar, it could turn out really well. Man, oh man, we are zooming through this already. The sense of speed you get through this track now is crazy. This like feels even better than the original so far. Which is not something I've said about any of it. <laughs> I mean, that's just because I like, I'm nostalgic for the original. Not because this game's bad or anything. This game's great so far. I've really been enjoying myself. Tiger Temple, interesting. Oh yeah, it's like all advertisements for different tracks. Oh, that's so cool. They really fleshed out this one. 
I'm gonna put a Nitro on that speed boost, so hopefully they run right into it. Different cards you can put on. Man, they made this one super duper awesome. And all the pyrotechnics, all the flames and everything. This is a really cool track. They turned what was probably visually the most bland track. It's not to say it was like a bad track, but it was a sort of a brown track with big, you know, tall walls alongside of it. You really couldn't see anything. Now there's so much to see. It's really cool. They really did make this an interesting looking track, but we are like way ahead of the competition right now, only on the second lap. Now I'm getting the major speed boosts. Let's keep it going. There we go. The only thing I feel like I sort of miss, I mean, this wasn't even in Crash Team Racing, but it was in Crash Nitro Kart, is Crash Nitro Kart would tell you how many boosts you've had in a string. So like on the bottom right, you can see your times like three for your triple boost, which you can do. But in Crash Nitro Kart, you know, if like if you were to do the triple boost, but then hit a boost pad and then do another triple boost, it all tallies that up into like one string of boosts counter. And that's really cool. I wish this game had that because that's sort of addicting just to sort of build that up and see how high of a boost string you can get. Maybe they'll add that in like an update at some point or something. That'd be fun. But we are way, way, way ahead of the of the competition right now. At this rate, we might actually lap them. It'd be cool to actually have a race where we lap the enemies. <laughs> just gotta keep jumping over these mud pits, try not to land in them. There we go. Final lap, here we go. I'm gonna have to race really well if we wanna actually do that. I don't know what the chances are. But I don't know if I've ever raced Polar in a track like this. Polar really does move through these corners like nothing. I mean, he does have max turning, so that's what you should expect. There we go. What I like is right before the boost happens, your tires turn orange. Like, that's a new feature as well, and it does make it easier to see when you're about to hit that boost. This course is really fun though. Just being able to blaze through everything. There we go. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna lap anybody. We are doing quite well. I love the look at this uh, new energy sphere item. That just looks awesome. Let's, oh gosh. Bit of a tight turn there. Couldn't do as much as I was hoping. That's fine. And we're almost at the end. There it is. So there's all four courses in Glacier Park. They were fantastic. I had a blast with those for sure. All right, what's our reward? We get 80 coins. I don't know why we got so many, but I'll gladly take them. I don't know what we can even spend these coins on just yet. We'll find out by the end of the story mode. So there's a the last trophy of the day. Once again, beating out Engine, and this time Dingo Dial. <laughs> you think Tiny would score a little bit better, but hey, what's it matter? Uh, that's super duper cool though. I had a great time with it. So, you've beaten all the other races ah. Ah. from these tracks. Well, now you'll see why I'm the most feared driver on this circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into brake dust. Let's race. Oh no, going against Komodo Joe. All right, well congratulations, you unlocked a new car. It's the Team Cortex car from Crash Nitro Kart. Very cool, so yeah, our next boss fight is Komodo Joe in Komodo Joe's Challenge. Let's get to it. What's interesting is, this is a boss fight from Crash Bandicoot 2, one of my favorites from Crash Bandicoot 2, but in that boss fight is Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo. What happened to Komodo Mo? Nobody ever knows. Maybe they had like an outing and it's just Komodo Joe now. Maybe Komodo Mo's never been good at driving. Not really sure. It'd be cool if they added him to this game though. That'd be a fun character to add through like a future update because they have confirmed future updates are coming. But anyways, Dragon Minds going against Komodo Joe. Only one can win and it's gonna be us. <laughs> Let's get to it. So this course is super cool. There we go. Come on, we gotta get ahead of him as soon as we can so we're not getting hit by all those items. That's for sure. I'm gonna grab this Wampa Fruit or miss it. Oh no, that's not good. Oh gosh. Come on, I can't let Komodo Joe beat us. 
Oh, watch out for that minecart. Put the TNT right there and hope he hits it. Did he hit it? Eh, I don't think so. Oh well. Ow. Ooh, I'm messing up right now. I'm cracking under the pressure. Let's put this right there. Didn't quite hit him, but I'm still in the lead, and there's some Wumpa Fruit for us. Okay, got another one, but still didn't get him. At this point, I wanna end up running into them. I'm not careful. Might just wanna hold on to them for now. Just try to get through this track as fast as I can. I'm starting to build a lead. So once again, there is a shortcut if you go down that minecart trail, but I'd rather not right now. It's a little, ah, too risky. I say that, but this turn in general is pretty tough. It's like a little loop, which makes it tough. Now I can't be behind him because he's gonna end up dropping a power up right in front of me. There we go, there we go. I hit the thing there and I didn't get a, did he hit it? That was weird. I didn't get a Wumpa fruit thing for hitting the box. Okay, dude, I need you to lay off right now. What do I get? I get the, the protection. I might end up needing it, or I can just run into him with it if I need to as well. Oh boy, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, this thing eventually runs out, so we gotta make the most of it. There it goes. Yikes. Oh boy. Oh, did he get hit by a TNT? I think he did. Yes, he did. He's frozen in his tracks right now. Very good. So it looks like we will be able to finish this one. That was definitely the closest boss race yet. A little scary, but Como done. I like it. <laughs> Our third boss fight defeated. Pretty cool, we get 20 coins for it. See you, Komodo. You're not so slow after all. Surprised me you did. Oh, he's gone. What? What about our key? Ah. Here's a key for the win. Still, I think you're not fast enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet, and it will be all your fault. You say that, but if it was you, you would have lost too, because if we lose, that means we were better than you, so it would have been your fault too. It's all of our fault. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, Komodo Joe is really cool. I like how he was doing all the disappearing stuff. They really made him seem like he's awesome in this game, and he is awesome, so <laughs> that works out pretty well. Like I said, I love that addition, because in the original game, they would just sort of sit there and just talk to you, but here they, they have like cool animations and stuff. And there we go, all three keys open up the final area, the Citadel City, which we'll be playing next episode. You have unlocked a new character, Komodo Joe, and we unlocked a new paint job, Mustard. <laughs> you have unlocked a new sticker, Komodo Joe, and that's it. So yeah, that's Core Texas statue over there. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Instead, we're gonna go through every track in the order that we originally played them and get all the CTR tokens and relic races as per usual, so let's get to it, starting with this one over here. So not this one, but over this way, of course, is gonna be Blizzard Bluff. Had a lot of fun with this track before, even though I lost the first time. Hopefully that doesn't, you know, bear the same with the CTR tokens. So here we are back at Blizzard Bluff. I wasn't looking, so I have no idea if we have, or we know where the CTR tokens are. I actually think there's, yeah, there's one right there behind us. We'll grab that on the end of the first lap. Just gonna try to remember where the rest of them are. Oh yeah, there's the T's right here. Oh, yeah, I got it. Not bad, not bad. So we're just looking for the R. Where could that be? Hmm. Well, watch it, Dingo Dial. There it is, there's the R. I got it. Okay, actually, not bad. Rocket's coming for me. It didn't hit me for some reason, that was weird. And I get a speed boost while I'm in first place game. You're too kind, too kind. So I just need to go wide for this turn. Even if I go off track a little bit, that's why I have the speed boost to make up for it again. Even though you still go slower even with the speed boost over off-road sections. Gotta be careful of that. So I need to find some Wumpa Fruit now. As long as I can just keep myself in the lead, we'll be A-OK. -okay. So I don't wanna do any crazy shortcuts. We'll be trying some more crazy shortcuts in the Relic Race of this, so I'm not too worried. I need to get this off of us pronto. There it is. So I just need this one Wumpa Fruit, there it is. And we got ourselves a maximum of 10. Very, very cool. Final lap coming up. 
So I have this speed boost, but I want to use it when it's going to be useful. Which might be soon, who knows. Now let's turn. Oh boy. Now we're really moving. Oh, I messed up my drift there. Because I was trying to also use the speed boost at the same time. Okay, use the nitro. And we are good. Yeah, not losing on this one. 32.73 seconds on that last lap, too. We stormed through it. Very nice. So that is our first CTR token of the day. Plenty more of those left to get, but for right now, we gotta worry about that relic race. Well, good job, Polar, with your first CTR token ever. Let's see what our uh, customization will be this time. I don't know if it's gonna be, it'll probably be more Team Cortex stuff. Yep, Rings of Speed. Hmm, interesting. I'll take it. And we're just gonna go back over there as soon as we can. This area is not too big, so it's actually pretty easy just to drift on over. Just like that, and got it. Blizzard Bluff, Relic Race, let's get it going on. Back at Blizzard Bluff, you can already see some really wild time boxes here. It's gonna be crazy. So I'm just gonna try to be super careful with some of this stuff, try to get the better time boxes, or miss both of them. Well, that's just plain embarrassing. Got it. And then you know what, let's go wide and grab that. Nice. And right behind, or right on the path of the boulder. Yikes. So this is a tough one right here, and because of that, I'm gonna go for it first if I can. Oh, it's tough, it's tough. But that is one of the shortcuts. It's really crazy, really tough to do. I would say it's like a higher skill level shortcut, which makes you know a time trial like this one, the Relic Race, a really big challenge, especially when I'm just not playing well. So a minute 30, I'll do what I can. I might already have to redo this one because of the mistakes we've made. But this is the kind of one that takes a lot of trial and error. They call it time trials for a reason, right? So there was also an extra crate back there you might have seen. So get the extra three seconds. Okay, I'm glad I got that. Oh, I guess I'm missing that one. Oh well. So I can't really risk it anymore. I'm just gonna keep going with this. I mean, I say that we're at 38 seconds out of a minute 30. They definitely give you some room to make some silly mistakes. But I'd rather limit on that as much as I can. Okay, we can do this. Grabbing it. Not bad. Oh, oh well. I'm just gonna keep with what we got going on. One of these days will be good enough for this track to do that shortcut. Oh no, oh boy, got it. Okay, I'm messing up my drift. But we have time, we have time. We have like 20 seconds just to get to the end of this. I'm gonna get what I can. Oh no, that was off the course. Come on, get the three seconds, get the three seconds. There we go. So we have like 15 seconds to spare, not too bad. Only gonna get the Sapphire, but that's okay. I'm just glad we were able to get it completed. We get ourselves 40 coins as a reward, and we're good to move forward. We got a new decal, it's the Lightning Dash, classic. So with that being done, we're gonna move to our next track now, which is going to be the, what was it? Yeah, it was this over here, the um, Dragon Mine. So over this way. I wanna do the CTR tokens for this one. I remember the CTR tokens being a bit of a challenge for this one. I guess we'll find out together. So let's get started. Here we are, Dragon Mines. I'm not seeing any of the tokens just yet. Oh, there's one, there's the C. That's probably the easiest one. <laughs> just on the inside there. Okay, well, we're good to go. Let's get it going. And there it is. Oh boy. So we already should be pretty good at this track because we've already had the race at twice for the trophy race and the boss race. What's weird is I remember the C being a little bit deeper into that little puddle in the original. I might be remembering it wrong though. I could be. <laughs> so there's the T. Yeah, I thought I remember that. I probably shouldn't have placed that there because the chances are I'm going to land on that. Okay, no, it looks like uh, Crash got it. So it's right here. Yep, just fall right on top of it. 
And I might be in last place, but that's why it's the first lap, so we don't have to worry about such things. And then here's the R between these two little poles. Ah, oh, I got squished by it. Oh no. So this is fine, this is fine. Everybody's bunched up, as you can see. Coco's actually in first. They're definitely sort of slowing down for me. Oh, I messed up my drift there. It's fine. This is where we'll blow past the competition. Oh, I got the cannonball. I'm just gonna go for it. Probably shouldn't have, should have used it to try, try to defend myself against the rocket. That would've been great. What's interesting about the explosion of the TNT is that if you're close to other players, I think it will also damage them. Okay, oh ho 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 ho. Sorry, Aku Aku's got my back today. So you know what? Out of my way, guys. We're in second place. Coco is still in the lead here. We're gonna have to change that now, aren't we? There we go, got that major boost. Yep, see you, Coco. Got the maximum Wumpa Fruit, so we should be able to keep up with this pretty well. Oh boy, there we go, come on. Not bad, not bad. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, bad timing, bad timing. Don't tell me you're gonna get me here, Coco. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Please, yeah! Man, she was really trying to get me there. Only beat her by a second or so. Man, oh man. That's fine though, because we get another token. Ooh, tiny. With the zebra stripes there, I like it. <laughs> Very cool. Only 20 coins that time. It feels like the farther we are ahead, the more coins we get, or maybe like the less times we get hit by items or do certain things, we get more coins or less coins, it seems. So that's good to keep in mind, but we are good to keep moving with that one. Sorry, Coco, not this time. Better luck next time, I guess. Pauler's a lot of fun, though. Really cute character. I'll be showcasing more of him in the future for sure, but right now we got the decal, the patch. Cool. So we're gonna go back to Dragon Mines now and do the Time Relic, which honestly, gonna be quite challenging. This one might actually take me a, a couple of attempts, but we'll be able to check out more cool uh, shortcuts. I forgot the word for a moment. A couple more cool shortcuts, just like we did with uh, Polar Pass, or no, Blizzard Bluff. That's what I meant. <laughs> Here we are, Dragon Mines again. Plenty of boxes to hit. Let's get to it. Okay. Got our first couple of seconds. I can drift for a little bit for this one. I try to limit my drifting just because I can then focus a little bit more on accuracy. Probably should have gotten that back. So I gotta get all the three seconds on the first lap. That's usually smarter. So what I wanna do here is the more risky thing. It's almost like, uh, you got this cool shortcut. It's impossible to get through here without getting run over. So it's just good to get this done now, but then, like it's a good shortcut, but you also get hit. But then we can jump down here just like we did for the one CTR token, and we've just earned ourselves a bunch of time. So I think it's worth it compared to, ow, oh, what could have ended up being if we just didn't get any of those boxes at all. Like I think we gained more time than we lost, you know? There we go, that was great. Trying to get all the difficult ones now, so we don't have to worry about them later. Always the best strategy. So we're moving on to the second lap with only 12 seconds on the clock. It is going up now though. Ow, what hit me there? That was weird. I guess I just sort of hit the wall in a weird angle. I'm gonna get the extra two seconds there. We're zooming through now. Let's keep it that way. Okay, I thought I wasn't gonna hit that one. I got worried. So we just have to race the track normally now, which is just great. Don't have to worry about any of that extra stuff. We're already at 11 more boxes until we've gotten it all. I gotta be careful, because that minecart's gonna squish me. Yikes, that's gonna bite into our time. But it happens. So the one I really wanna try to get is, oh, that one. That's at a really tough angle. Hard to get, for sure. That's definitely gonna be the hardest crate out of this entire thing. Might be the one we end up not getting, it depends. Come on now. Good job. Whoa, oh no, I saw it coming. I just couldn't do anything about it. Yikes. Come on, come on, come on. This turn's always so tough. I see that mine cart and I totally messed myself up because of it. So I don't think we're running out of time, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit all the boxes. 
Oh, no. And if I turn around and try to get it, I'm gonna run out of time. That's a total shame. But now we know what to do. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Now we know what to do when we want to get the platinum, where all the boxes are. Maybe the best strategy for getting them. We'll have to wait and see. Yikes, what a pitiful time. 20 coins though, not too bad. Alrighty. There's another time relic for us. What is our reward? Besides the relic? It's Nash? Oh cool, he's a Nitro Kart character. Excited to check him out. I don't remember him too much from Nitro Kart. So, now we're gonna be moving out of uh, Dragon Mines into Polar Pass, which should be over this way, we already know. So we're, we're making our way through this at decent time so far. Haven't failed too much, so that's always a good sign. And boom, Polar Pass, here we go. Let's do the CTR challenge. So here we are at Polar Pass. Once again, I don't see any of the tokens just yet. I like how that little tree fort was for sale. That's fun. I don't quite, oh, I see one in the background, actually. Yep, you can see the T way up there. We'll have to try to get that. But for right now, we just gotta get out and ahead before the competition. Just like that. And then the C is right here. Actually, I, I, how did I not see that? <laughs> how did I not see the C? I don't know. Maybe I'm lacking in vitamin C. That does not affect my vision, I don't think. <laughs> that was a really bad pun because it wasn't even factually sound. And the R is actually just right here. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I made it. <laughs> cool. I thought I was gonna fall out there for sure. Okay, watch it, Pura. Keep it going. Oh, Pura's catching back up. So we already know where the last token is, so I just gotta get there and hope that I do that in one piece. Jump! Yeah, look at that, we got that shortcut again. So coming up on this big jump, gotta just keep on the lookout for where it is. Ah, it's just right here in the middle. And there it is, all three of them on the first lap, that's cool. Keep it going. So now we just gotta keep a lead for the next two laps, which should be fine. I mean, we're already in the lead right now when we had to go out of our way to get the token, so I think things will turn out all right. This is such a fun track, though. Ow! Finally hit one of the seals. Keep it going, come on. I wonder if we could, ah, not quite. That's a shortcut you could sorta kinda do in the original if you had enough of a crazy boost. I mean, I'm sure you could maybe still do it. Who knows? I'm still in the lead. Probably shouldn't go for too crazy of shortcuts like that if I wanna not have to redo this whole thing. That's very silly of me to do. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, I finally messed it up. I was waiting for it to happen. It's all about timing that jump, which can be really tough to do, of course. Okay, well we still have a full lap and then some to catch back up, so I should be fine as long as I don't get pelted by a ton of items. Excuse me, I was saying not let that happen. Not go ahead and hit me with an item now. Let me get my lump of fruit back and then we should be good. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, I'm all over the place. There we go, sorry I was like in super focus mode there. Didn't talk much. There we go. This map is so beautiful. I love just seeing everything happening in the distance. But yeah, there's more going on than in some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks, which I didn't even think was possible. Those, those courses are always so pretty. There it is! Just gotta jump nice and early, but not too early. Whoa, that was weird. I totally stopped up, but I got thrown upwards still. Oh boy. So our last little boost just like that. Okay, there's the blue super boost. Sometimes you can keep that going on somehow. I don't know how I did it that one time. <laughs> but there we go, we got the CTR token for Polar Pass. Now I'll be back once we do the same for the Relic Race. And we got 60 coins for that one. That's one of our highest yet. So what do we get as a reward for completing our CTR token? We get Crunk, another Nitro Kart character. Just like a little sticker of him. Not too bad. So I gotta go right back over to Blizzard Bluff and get this Relic Race going on. Here we go. Okay, so I already see 
a crate up here that's a bit of a tough one to get, but we got it, so that's good. Now I wanna grab this and try not to bump into the wall too much. Definitely this one can be an interesting track. I remember this one right here. Oh, wait, okay, that wasn't too bad. I remember that being a harder crate to hit. I mean, I didn't hit it there, but it didn't seem like it was too far out of the way. I think it was higher up in the original or something. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I can't say it's easy to do if I didn't do it. Okay, made my way through that turn without too much of an issue. Now these ones are a little bit scary. What I gotta do is sort of jump off to the side and hope you don't do exactly what I did. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> That's okay, we have a full three minutes for this course. I didn't think it needed that much time, but okay. That's really high for one of the Relic Races. There we go, we need to make sure we get that right because one of these laps we have to go around instead of over. So we need to make sure we get that jump correctly next time too. Got it. Maybe that's why this one has so much time because it has really difficult crates to hit. Whoa, oh, I didn't land on any of them there, that stinks. Have to make sure I get that crate next time. Some extra time over this way, good, good, good. I need to make sure I get this right now. Whoop. Yeah, there it is, not too bad, actually. Okay, we're really moving now. Okay, I got that, that's nice. See, so yeah, we're actually a minute into this. I didn't realize this course was so lengthy in that way, where it took a lot of time, really? That was just me not being good again. That time I didn't get the crate or land correctly. So I need to get this one this time. Yes, okay. Because we need to go back that way. You can see there was a crate waiting for us. We need to make sure we do that correctly. So for this one, I'm gonna get the two seconds. So we're doing pretty good, 26 out of 38. I mean, that's still quite a lot of crates to get. Okay, we're really moving now. Oh no, 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 <laughs> I forgot about it. Ah oh, man, I mean, I've only eaten up a little bit more than half of our time, so we're doing great in that way. And there's actually no more crates left around here. I guess that's where the time really sacks up is when there's no more crates to grab. There we go. Come on, can I get this? You bet I can. Our 29 out of 38, so there's still nine more crates to get around here. That's crazy. Here's our 30th one coming up. I got it, and I didn't land in the in the, in the the water. I was gonna call it soup for a second for some reason. I don't know why I think it's soup. I think it's soup. Okay, so yeah, going over this way, yep, just gotta turn around real fast, get a bonus three seconds. Six more crates left to get, can we do it? Yeah, okay. I wanna get all of them, I really, really do. Okay, the last two, I know where they are. And I'm gonna have to like break because I got a lot of speed going into that. <laughs> there they are, there's all 38 boxes. Super duper cool. And we get a gold. Two minutes and 15 seconds is our total time. Not too bad, I mean, I'll take it. I'm just glad we're able to get all the boxes in our first attempt. That's pretty cool to me. So what is our reward for that one? Hopefully something good. Another relic. And? We get the Spiderweb Team Cortex decal. That's sort of referential to an upcoming course in the next episode. So with that done, it looks like we are all set up and ready to go for the final course in today's episode when it comes to the CTR relic or and time relic stuff. It's of course Tiny Arena again. So let's do the CTR challenge in this one. Had a lot of fun with this track before, so hopefully more of the same this time. Back at Tiny Arena, I don't see any tokens just yet, any of the letters. I still love that giant, tiny statue. And there's all the scientists in the uh, in the uh, crowd again. I guess they're sort of paid to be there, aren't they? I mean, they're all uh, Cortex scientists, as far as I understand. Okay, let's get to this. Whoa, didn't quite hit anything I wanted to that time. Oh, I remember that letter being really tough to grab. You need to jump in just the right way. I don't know if you guys saw that, but between the two jumps, it's a tough one. That actually might cause us to do a couple of retries on this entire thing, we'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, we gotta keep a lookout for the other letters. Oh boy. 
Definitely get some Wumpa Fruit while you have the chance. There goes our, our energy field. But we're, we we should be able to keep a pretty good lead, just like we did the last time we raced here. And I think the next letter's coming up, right? Maybe? Huh, not quite yet. Hope we didn't miss that one, too. I don't remember. <laughs> I, oh, you know what? I do remember there's one in the mud somewhere, maybe. There's the C. That was actually quite easy to get. Hmm, I don't remember that being there. <laughs> to be honest with you. Aha, here's the R. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Those are tough to get, because you just have to jump at just the right time. But now I'm gonna have a second chance in lap two. Already right now, while I'm going out of my way for tokens though, we got a decent lead, so hopefully that's a good sign. Darn it, this is it's so easy to go right over it. I'm gonna have one last chance of that in the third lap. Let's hope for it. Oh, I saw a cool like graffiti of Uka Uka, or yeah, Uka Uka. The evil one. I think that's Uka Uka, yeah. But man, oh man, this this track is so cool. I love all the art on the walls and how the walls are sort of look different every here and there. Oh, there's like different patterns of it and stuff. It just it's such an interesting looking track now. They did such a great job. <laughs> Were those gophers in the mud? That that's different. What happens if you run into them? I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Poor gophers, leave them alone. Yeah, we are super duper ahead. Looks like Tiny is actually in second this time, though. That didn't happen last time. So here comes the R. Let's try to get it. Yeah, there we go. So all we have to worry about now in this last lap is the letter T. And it's right at the beginning. So can we do it? I can only hope. Oh, I can hear Tiny shredding on his guitar. Or at least holographic Tiny. Come on, ready? Darn it, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Turn around, turn around, come on, Polar. I'm gonna try to do this, just turning around and going forward again. I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh, I'm gonna have to restart, because I don't have enough momentum. That's really tough. I remember having the same issue with the original. It's just tough to deal with. I'm gonna try to get it again here. And I, I won't force you guys to through the entire track again. But I might as well keep you guys with me as I attempt to get this first letter. Nope, man, that is so tough. There it is, that's what I'm talking about. That took a couple of tries, but we got it. It's definitely a really tough angling, but now I'm ready to just go ahead and destroy the competition. You guys are going down. Okay, there we go, got it done this time. Not too bad. Eh, decent time, 341 I feel. I think we did better before, but we another 80 coins, so not complaining. So yeah, with that done, we're just gonna go get the Royal Grace. A nice golden yellow CTR token for all of our efforts at Tiny Temple, or Tiny Arena. <laughs> Tiny's like, no, not to my own arena! Oh, the embarrassment. Will it be Polar Arena now? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so what do we get? We get Panda Polar. You know, we got Panda Dingo last episode. Cool to finally get Panda Polar. So now we gotta go back to Tiny Arena, which means I am going the wrong way, and get the relic done. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be a tough one for sure, but I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, let's get it going. Yeah, don't don't miss any of the big boxes right away. Oh, there was one in between those two jumps. That's sort of something I'll have to remember. Okay, getting a couple of those, not too bad. This is where Polar's extra turning ability and his stats really help. I think I missed one of the boxes there, unfortunately. Oh, I missed both of those. Couldn't get one or the other. Got it. And this is like a really long track, so there's a whopping 60 crates to get, you know? Pretty crazy. I mean, usually most of them have like 30 or 40, so, uh, there we go. 60 is quite a lot. But that's why I love this track. It's unique, it's interesting. And now it's just super cool because of the aesthetics. I can't wait to see what some of the stuff they've done to some of the other tracks coming up too, you know, like Engine Labs. I'm really excited to see. And Cortex Castle, those are all coming up next episode. I can't believe I missed all those boxes this time. I'll have to be a little bit better about that. Uh, next lap. Oh, got the two seconds, good. I'm gonna try to grab both of these. 
It might seem like a bad idea to grab all the crates at once, but all the time stacks up, so it doesn't really matter how many crates I get now. Sometimes it can even be better. If I could somehow grab all the crates on the first lap, I definitely would, because that way, on the second and third lap, all I have to do is focus on actually going through the level quickly, and that could be very beneficial. So this time, I'm gonna go try to grab this, and you know what, while I can, might as well do that too. So yeah, there's some extra three seconds that way. Okie doke. Not bad, I sort of missed that stuff though. Okay, at least got that. That was one of the tougher ones for sure. So we're more than halfway there on the second lap. And we have a three minute 45 second requirement. So things are going our way so far. There's not really too many impossibly difficult crates on this track. It's just that there's so many of them that you're bound to miss at least a couple. And that's where it gets scary and where you just gotta be a really good racer. Not to say that I am. I'm getting there though, hopefully. Oh, I missed that, darn. Just barely too. So there's definitely gonna be some times where I have to sort of turn around a little bit to get everything I want on that last lap. I know over on this side though, there's this one crate. Grab that one. And we are pretty well set up then for that last lap. I can only hope. We got a couple more over here. We wanna get this one because that's the three seconds. We wanna be very helpful in the last lap. No, I never even knew that was there. Wrong way, I know. You don't have to tell me, Aku Aku. Okay, come on. Yeah, there's no crates over this way. Don't have to worry about it. There's 13 more left to get somewhere on the track though. That's it. Excellent. There's another one. We're at 50 out of 60, 10 more to get. Gotta go wide for this. It gives me three seconds out, so pretty cool. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't hit the wall there. That was amazing. Very lucky, but amazing. So this is where I gotta sort of do something weird. I gotta do that. I gotta grab this. <laughs> Keep it moving. Gotta do some weird stuff here. Ow, what happened? That was weird. That was really weird. I hit nothing there. <gasps> there we go, I got those. So you know what? You can take your weird hitting nothingness. I still got an entire minute and like 10 seconds to get everything and to finish this lap. So I think we'll be good. That's 50 out of 60. So there's two more, wherever they may be. Now I think that what I gotta do here if I remember correctly, is take this turn. Uh, got it, okay, where's the last one? I don't know, oh yeah, it's right at the end, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna be able to get every single one of them this time. If I don't mess up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did it! Oh my gosh, we did it, we got a platinum! Yes! It looks like we just needed uh, 258 for it. We got 250 because of our 10 second deduction from getting all the crates. So if I missed that last crate, we would not have gotten a platinum. That is awesome. We got our first platinum in the game, guys. How cool is that? 80 coins, and we are good to move forward. Ah, look at the beauty of our amazing platinum relic. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Polar is happy about it too. So only one last thing to do in today's episode, that is going to be doing our crystal collection challenge. We got 12 rugs, we got 12 CTR tokens, and we unlocked a snowflake sticker. And a shield and axe sticker as well. And lastly, a Viking hat. I like how we get like three separate things for completing all those kind of things. And now we got this, the Rocky Road. Let's get to it. This one's tough too. Like I said last episode, that was the toughest one. I think it is, but this one's not gonna be far behind in terms of challenge. Oh wow, this looks a lot different. Rocky Road in the Gla Glacier Park area. Ooh, yeah, it's very more, a lot more deserty. <laughs> oh, I got the engine gas station again from Crash 3. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this one's sort of like a big circle. It doesn't actually show you the map for it. I didn't realize it didn't do that. Pretty inf helpful information to have, so that's sort of a shame. Oh, can I get this? I can. Ow, I ran right into the nitrous. <laughs> Not good. Grabbing that one for sure, and then we're gonna take a little bit of a detour. Oh, nice. Okay, I didn't get hit there. Thank goodness. 
and then jump off like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And I think there's one more hanging out up this way before we can go to the, no, oh, there's plenty more. All right, we're more than halfway through. Whoa, whoa, trying to go forward, not backwards. Whoa, did I get it? I got it, okay, that was worth it then. Got 30 seconds remaining. Come on. I'm just hoping I haven't like missed any because while I've been productive here, it has been quite scattered. I'm missing three of them. Well, here's one of them. I missed. And then grab that. And then there's the last one right here. Wow, that was not bad on the first try. Got 14 seconds remaining as well, so that was an excellent score. I couldn't have asked for anything better there, that's for sure. 20 more coins for us and we are good to head out of here. Glacier Park is now 100% complete. That's the third area of the game out of five. So we can now say with confidence that we are more than halfway done the story mode already. It's been zooming by, it's been a ton of fun. I mean, I know it would go by fast because it's a relatively short story mode, five areas. I knew I wanted to do it in five episodes, but man, oh man, maybe it's going by a little too quick. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life though, for sure. So there's another successful ride with Polar. We'll try a new character in the next episode in Citadel City. But for right now, that's gonna wrap it up with our final CTR token of the day. We get a customization, it is Tiny Cheetah. Cool. So as we take a look, as you can see, we got our four trophies, four time relics, one of which is a platinum, four CTR tokens, a bonus CTR token, and the key. Very, very cool. So with that being said, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and go to this fourth area, like I said before, Citadel City. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Team Racing. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Trophies, and if you watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Tazic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.